Hi there, I'm John Kirstead from Arctic Spas Vancouver Island. Um, wanted to talk to you about uh, Spa Boy. Uh, you know, it's interesting, we've done so many videos and we've, we've alluded to and discussed Spa Boy, but we haven't done a dedicated video on Spa Boy where we wanted to kind of explain um, more in depth about what Spa Boy is and, and what we're doing. So um, we have, you know, at Arctic Spas, we've been promoting um, saltwater systems now for close to 20 years. Uh, we started with our Onsen salt system and um, that's a time-based system. Now Spa Boy, the difference between Spa Boy is Spa Boy, we've taken the um, management of the sanitizer production away from the customer. So with a, with a traditional salt water system, you increase or decrease the output based on how much you use a spot. Not unlike a chemical system where when you're on a chemical system, if you use your spa a lot, you know, you'd open your dispenser more, or you'd use more sanitizer. If you use it less, you'd close it up and you'd use less sanitizer. But what we find is, is that, um, people don't really want to do that work or people forget to do that work or they use the wrong stuff or they adjust it too much or not enough. And so what we found is that, you know, nowadays with uh, AI and uh, we can automate these systems. And so uh, that's what we do with Spa Boy. So with Spa Boy, it starts out with this uh, uh, medical grade sensor, right? So this sensor, you can see there's actually some probes in there. Um, it's actually kept in a little liquid container, which I'm gonna put it back in. Um, but I wanted you to be able to see, we wanna keep this probe wet. Um, normally this probe would be in your water. It usually sits behind one of these device, like one of these wall fittings. In fact, it's this one that's plugged right here. So when you drain and fill your spa, this probe, you'd cap this so that there'd be water in there so this thing stays wet. It's important that the, the sensors don't dry out. Um, but this sensor senses two things. It senses the pH of the water and it senses the ORP of the water. The ORP is the oxidation reduction potential and it's what's telling us how much sanitizer is in the water. So when your ORP is higher, you have more sanitizer in the water. When your ORP is lower, you have less sanitizer in the water. And we set the computer algorithm to measure. So it sends a signal to that sensor and gets information from that sensor every 10 minutes and it evaluates do I need to add some sanitizer or are we good? Do I, um, is the pH fine um, or not? Uh, and in fact, we're gonna be talking a little bit about something that you can add to Spa Boy now, which is called Smart pH, where we actually have automated the pH uh, uh, treatment into the water as well. Um, but what Spa Boy does is it will, uh, if it senses that the sanitizer level is uh, low, then it's gonna click on until the next 10 minute cycle when it measures. If it's still low, it would stay on. If it's not, then it would um, turn off. Um, this gray electrode, this electrode here, if you had an Onsen system, this would be a black electrode. It wouldn't be Spa Boy. But basically inside there, there's these charged plates and these plates activate and then the saline or salt that's dissolved in the water, it actually splits that molecule up. And when it splits that molecule up, it forms uh, sodium hydro, or pardon me, it forms sodium hydroxide as well as sodium hypochlorite, which is your active form of chlorine that's in the water. And so that active form of chlorine is your sanitizer. And so every time the sensor says that the sanitizer is too low, this is gonna come on. You're gonna see it smoking in the water. Uh, we, we say smoking, it's actually releasing the gas form uh, of, the, of the chlorine. And then that's what's going to be your active sanitizer. And so you see this steady stream of smoke coming up on, on, out of there, and that's what's gonna produce your sanitizer. Um, each time you uh, get in the spa, you can also hit the boost button, which I, is my recommendation, is even though Spa Boy is gonna sense when it drops and turn on automatically, if you know you're gonna contaminate the spa and we're the contaminant, we're the ones introducing bacteria, we're introducing oils and all kinds of other stuff into the water as we use it, the sanitizer's job is to deal with that stuff that we introduce to the water. And Spa Boy is very, very good at doing that. 
Um, so if it senses that it needs to do that, it comes on. It comes on until there's enough in there that the water uh, has a stable level. You can adjust your spa boy's um, sensitivity, let's say, to have a higher or lower residual. So if you don't use your spa a whole lot or you go away uh, for vacation or something like that, um, it's not gonna come on very often because it's not got a lot of work to do. So you can actually set your spa boy setting to low, medium, or high. By default, I think they come at medium. Um, if you have a lot of users for the spa or you use your spa more often, or if you know there's people coming for the weekend, my recommendation is set it for high. The other thing is, is use that boost feature. As soon as you get into the tub, hit boost right away. As we're introducing the contaminants, we immediately start introducing the sanitizers to start dealing with those contaminants. And that's really Spa Boy. Now, the thing that we just added this year, it's still brand new, not quite ready for retrofit yet, but it will be, a, a, I think, one of the more popular retrofits. In 2014, when we introduced Spa Boy, inside the Spa Boy generator, we had a capability to turn on and off uh, a pH pump or a valve to allow us to treat for the pH side of this. So when you run Spa Boy, when you split that molecule up, every time you're producing sanitizer, you're producing a little bit of pH up. So you're slowly increase. Over time, all salt systems are gonna cause the pH to creep up. So usually what we tell people is, you know, every seven to 10 days, you uh, add a little bit of pH decreaser to the water to bring that pH back down into that ideal range of between 7.2 and 7.6. Um, if you don't do that, then your pH is gonna slowly creep up. And once your pH gets up above around eight, um, then uh, metals and such that are in solution start coming out of solution and you'll start seeing scale forming. And scale's not good. Scale can form on the, any of the metal components and you know on the edge of your spa you'll see like a scale buildup. Um, it's almost like a chalky buildup. It might make your water look a little cloudy as these, the precipitate starts making little flecks in your water. Um, but it can also damage the heater, damage your pump. So we don't want that pH to get up high. Now the interesting thing is, is as I said before, this probe actually measures the pH and has been measuring pH for since, uh, you know, it's 11 years now. Um, that is we track our customers. And one of the interesting things we found was is that even though if your pH was too low or your pH was too high, you'd get an error. In fact, on a spa with the lights on it, the lights start flashing, the top side says PHL or PHH, which indicates it's either too low or too high. Um, it will uh, send you a text message if you have your notifications turned on. Even with all of this probing that you get, um, we found that about 57% of the people still don't adjust their pH even when they get an error. So our engineers decided that we needed to automate this. So we've introduced a new product called Smart pH, which basically is two cartridges. And um, I'll have Clint show you the cartridge. I don't physically have one in my hands. Um, there are two red cartridges. They fit into a long tube and there's a a valve that opens up and allows that pH decreaser to be added to the water um, when the sensor says that the pH has crept up too high. And that keeps the pH in the ideal range. So what we realize is that what people really want is like most of their other appliances. They just want to use the appliance for what it's good at, but they don't actually want to get in there and uh, treat it. So just like Spa Boy, we are now automating the pH side of it. Um, the whole concept between spa, uh, 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 of Spa Boy um, is automating the processes to make the maintenance on the spa automated so that you as a consumer just use the spa. You know, we, we realize that customers just want to use the spa, like your fridge. You just want to grab your cold drink. You don't really want to, you know, even uh, on my fridge, there's a little filter you have to change for the drinking water. And even that, it you know, can take me months before I actually get around to changing that thing or if the light bulb goes in there. You know, I, I keep thinking, oh, I got to get a light bulb for that. Oh, I got a light bulb. It's just because we're busy people. So Spa Boy is designed for you as a consumer to do less with your spa other than just using it. 
And that's Spa Boy in a nutshell. It's gonna automate the sanitization of your spa and with smart pH, it's gonna automate the pH reduction of the spa uh, to counteract the normal increase of pH that happens when you use any salt system. I'm John Kirstead for Arctic Spas. Thank you for watching the video.